Obsidian Canvas is a really powerful tool, but I gotta be honest, I don't really use it the way that it was designed. You see, instead of laying things out spatially and making connections from my notes, I use it to create personal dashboards that show me essential information from data in my Obsidian Vault and even Google Sheets. Hey, internet friends, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few of the ways that I use cards in Obsidian Canvas to track everything from critical numbers in my creator business to aggregating journaling data for my personal retreats to displaying the important tasks on my essential task list. But before we get there, we need to explain a little bit about what Obsidian Canvas is. So if you're brand new to Obsidian Canvas, it's actually a core plugin that has come built into Obsidian for a while now. It was originally added in version 1.1.0 on the desktop back in December of 2022 as a way to lay out your notes on an infinite canvas. Now, the idea here is that by laying out your notes spatially, it could make research and brainstorming easier. But I have to admit that when I first used Canvas inside of Obsidian, I didn't immediately find it that useful. It seemed to me like a very limited infinite canvas that was tacked onto my favorite notes app. But the functionality was pretty limited when you compared it to other infinite canvas apps out there like Miro and even Apple's Freeform app. Now, eventually Canvas clicked for me, but not because I found it incredibly helpful to lay out my notes visually on an infinite canvas. In fact, I almost never use it with my notes and files from my vault, but I do use it all the time because I found a couple of things incredibly useful about the cards that you can add to your Obsidian Canvas, though the real power of these cards is not that obvious. Now, the first non-obvious power that Canvas cards possess is the ability to use web URLs. Just copy the URL of a web page, open a Canvas document in Obsidian, and paste the URL to create a card that renders the contents of that URL on your Canvas. Now, this is cool by itself, but what's really powerful about this is that you don't have to use a standard web page. You can use any web URL. So, for example, I like to keep track of a few critical numbers for my creator business in a Google Sheet. And then I can use a service like Notion VIP Charts which takes data from that Google Sheet and turns it into a chart that I can embed in an app like Notion and ClickUp, I can use the contents of that Google Sheet to create a chart, copy the URL for that chart, and paste it into my Obsidian Canvas. So creating a couple different charts using Notion VIP charts and laying them out in a canvas gives me a dashboard that I can use to track critical numbers for my business. And because these charts are web URLs, based on live data from a Google Sheet, these charts reflect any changes made to that Google Sheet instantly. So now I can open this dashboard, I can see the updates without having to open up my browser and go to my Google Sheet. Plus, in my opinion, this looks a lot better. The second hidden feature in Canvas cards is that you can actually add code snippets to those cards. Now you probably already know that you can add a card to your Canvas and then just start typing text into the card but you can also use code snippets in these cards that you add to your Obsidian Canvas that render when you aren't actively editing the card. So just add a code block in the card contents like you would in any other note in Obsidian, and then when you click outside the card, you'll see the results of the code block in the card on your Canvas. So being able to render these code snippets and lay them out on a Canvas like this makes it possible to build custom dashboards for just about anything. For example, I did a video a while back about how I use daily questions journaling in Obsidian where I rate myself on my intentions in several key areas daily on a scale from one to 10. I assign those values to tags that are attached to my daily note. And then I look at the trends when I do my personal retreat using the tracker plugin. Now I have a whole nother video on my personal retreat process here, which includes a link to download the template if you're interested. But the takeaway here is that now I can take the code snippets that I normally look at in a separate note and I can paste them into these code blocks in Canvas and I can rearrange these cards to my liking so I can see all of them laid out in one place. I also use code blocks for Obsidian task queries to create a task dashboard where I can look over my essential lists as part of my planning and shutdown routines. I've been doing task management completely in Obsidian for the last couple of months, and this task dashboard helps me make sure that nothing is falling through the cracks by laying out everything I need to do side by side. This helps me review my critical tasks and essential lists quickly. Now this task dashboard may look a little bit fancy because I've actually incorporated a few niceties from a great Canvas add-on called Canvas Candy, but we'll get to that in a second. What I really wanna drive home right here is that with the ability to render these code blocks, 
Canvas cards give you the ability to add customizable widgets to your canvas. And because Canvas cards can be resized, the layout options here are virtually limitless. The only thing you have to be aware of here is that once your canvas gets zoomed out far enough, the contents of your cards and the rendering of your code snippets will be blurred out. But I absolutely love the way that Canvas lets you lay things out exactly how you want them. There are a few limitations with Canvas though. You don't get to choose different shapes for your cards and the layout and connection options that are built in are pretty basic. But there are a few Canvas add-ons that can help make Canvas even more useful and I wanna share a few of my favorites before we wrap up this video. So first, there's a really great add-on called Canvas Candy that adds a bunch of new features to Canvas using custom CSS classes. Canvas Candy lets you add new shapes, customize borders, add background gradients and transparencies, add header and footer labels, and a whole lot more. I did a video on Canvas Candy a while back, so click here if you wanna see Canvas Candy in action. But the downside to Canvas Candy is that it's probably a little bit too technical for some folks and it does cost $20, but personally, I think it's a worthwhile investment if you're going to use Canvas frequently. Another simpler Canvas add-on that doesn't cost anything is the Advanced Canvas plugin. This plugin is available in the Community Plugins directory and it gives you some additional tools and card shapes that you can use to create workflow diagrams and even do simple presentations straight from your Canvas. It doesn't have as many options as Canvas Candy, but it does add some visual tweaks to the Canvas card and control menus that don't require you to remember CSS classes in order to use them. The presentation feature in particular is kind of cool, zooming in on the first card that you denote as the first slide, and then advancing to the next card or slide based on the connections between the cards. As you add things to your Canvas, it can be hard to stack things in the right order. Now, fortunately, this is a solved problem with another simple community plugin called Canvas Send to Back that solves this by adding both a send to front and a send to back option to the contextual menu when you right click on a card in Canvas. This functionality should really be built in, in my opinion, but until it is, this is a handy little plugin if you use Canvas a lot. And as your Canvas gets bigger, you'll likely want a way to find things using search. Now, unfortunately, the built in search doesn't work in the Canvas view. But again, another community plugin solves this called Simple Canvas Search by adding a command that lets you use fuzzy search on note titles or contents. You can trigger the search from the command palette or via a hotkey. I have mine set to Control Command F. Then you search for what you want, select the result from the modal window that appears, hit enter, and the canvas recenters on your selected card. So there you have it. That's how I use cards to create custom dashboards in Obsidian Canvas. Now, if you like this video, you'll probably love my email newsletter as well, Practical PKM. Each Monday, I share an original essay on how to apply values-based productivity principles to help you do more of what matters and get more out of your notes and ideas. I link to something cool that's usually Obsidian related, and I share my mind map book notes from a book that I've read. You can sign up for the newsletter by going to practicalpkm.com. I also have a free Obsidian starter vault with a bunch of tips and templates to help you make more of your notes and ideas in Obsidian. The link for that is in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.